Yes, hi again, good morning. Uh, today it's me again, Mary Kachian, and today we will talk about um, uh, a logic in chess. Uh, I prepare actually my two future lessons uh, today, and uh, my next time uh, we'll be talk about uh, how important to connect all your moves. It's about uh, a logical thinking, and uh, both wins came pretty much from the opening and. Um, I believe it's important for you guys to learn one uh, lesson how to play with guidance, how to connect your moves and have a plan for your game. So my first game uh, from my last tournament, my local tournament here in Los Angeles, I played uh, against international master, I mean, I'm sorry, national master uh, Ron Hermanson. And I believe the game was uh, very interesting. So I had black pieces. Well, uh, my opponent tried to choose uh, sideline against Sicilian defense uh, uh, since he haven't played for a long time and he's trying to make uh, his return to chess and he's trying to play uh, some sideline against Sicilian defense, trying to make sure he's more safe. In fact, um, my personal opinion, uh, since I'm playing all the sidelines by myself as a white sometimes against Sicilian defense, you know, uh, all the sidelines might give you an interesting game, but will never give you a, a really game for having advantage. So for black players, you must be happy every time when you're facing, let's say, a Lapian C3 or Rosalima Bishop B5 or close Sicilian, because simply believe it will give just, uh, let's say, double edge game. So we have this United you know, Six move here. The line used to be very popular back to, I believe, um, 90s. Uh, in fact, uh, my opponent, Ron Hermerson, used to be my, uh, my student, my, my former student. And I believe it was me who actually uh, taught him this line to play from my point of view. Because um, if someone will check my history, um, they will find some of my games as a white player against this line, against its ceiling defense. Uh, it was several years ago, then I figured out it's too slow and in fact it's not that good. So, uh, again, here many lines uh, from black to play to deal with this uh, bishop e2 move. And uh, my personal understanding uh, from the best line is to play here uh, g6 to avoid uh, some kind of um, direct fight. I just show you some possible uh, what's going to be, let's say, what could be done. Let's say if you play the knight g6 in order to uh, block this diagonal and be ready for capturing pawn on e4. Uh, then what could be done, it's a d4. That's the basic the whole idea of this line. And now um, uh, I can't really move my knight since the queen has a check and uh, attacking the knight. So I have to move here 25 check. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.